A lovely setting for you for our football today. It's the Mestalla Stadium in Valencia. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our football comes from La Liga and the match starts very shortly. We've been counting the hours, Alan, haven't we, for this one? Well, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. Where on earth are the goals going to come from for the visiting team today, given the paucity of their scoring records so far? Well, you look at the chances created and there's uh, been enough to warrant more goals scored than they actually have. The first half getting underway, it's Valencia who've kicked off. Valencia will go with this team today. Anthony Lopez starts in goal. Mark Bartra plays alongside Nacho in the heart of defence. Jeffrey Condogbia plays with Parejo in midfield. And it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Let's check on Granada and their 11 players. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. Very close in, Alan, but not very close to scoring. Yeah, a simple save in the end, and it should have been anything but. He should have been picking it out of the net, the keeper. Danny Parejo. Now, can he take them on? And he's dispossessed. Surely he must score. He's kept it out. Referee has pointed for a corner. lose it here he has been pressed there to running the ball out of play striding forward purposefully careless there the only real problem they've had in this historic stadium is back in 1957 a spell of really wet weather caused floods in the area and a certain amount of rebuilding was done. They've had the problems Valencia as a club, haven't they? Gredes! Drew everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Dog beer. Traore. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. Well, no one's picking him up in the wide area. This could be dangerous. The referee's pointed for a goal kick. On EA Sports, very soon for you. The La Liga fixture. Valencia, they'll be facing Real Betis away from home. Well, when you look at the matches in the past between these two, he doesn't usually disappoint, and I don't think this one will either. Florenzi. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Guedes. For Valencia. Strange, really, from such a good position and such a good player because he's hit it so hard. Yeah, that's not like him at all. Don't know why he tried to finish like that. Herrera.
It's a top effort, really, but it's just too high. Maybe next time that kind of effort will be on target. Florenzi. Into the attacking third. Reyes! The keeper stops it. There could be a follow-up now. Herrera. Oh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his run a touch. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Traore. They continue to defend as a unit, but no real attacking outlet, so the game is being played in their half. Time to get the ball in. Promising build-up until that challenge. Must take the lead here which they do in good style. Uh, they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. This is high-class taking of a goal chance. He's got so much subtlety to his game. Always produces when the pressure's on. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. So Valencia have that lead. Darwin matches. Herrera trying to spot a potential ball to open them up, but they're keeping the ball well. Stopping the cross, important job for the defender. And the referee spotted that deflection, he's pointed for the corner. A yeah, sign of a bit of experience there, didn't try and put his foot through it. Knew exactly where he wanted to place it. Corner played into the middle. And the goalkeeper can make a straightforward save there. Yeah, you'd have been amazed if he'd have let that one in. At this point, Valencia have what they want, they have a lead, they haven't quite reached the high levels of performance that we know that they can reach. But this might be it! Brave blocking. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Jeffrey has blown and he's given the free kick. I think he'd love to shoot, but he can't from this angle. Got to get a good ball into the box. That's gone out for a goal kick. How about Granada's next game? Well, they're playing Atletico Madrid in their next match in La Liga. And uh, I don't hold out high hopes for them in this one. Danny Parejo. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Opportunity for Valencia. And that is quite a... Wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball.
That's the indication. Four added minutes. Rodrigo. Could whip it in from here. Well, he's found a teammate. Can't lose it here. Well, the fans making their feelings known. And that's to be expected when you've been, they see, as denied a penalty. Rodrigo! That's a good save. He got a touch to that. Every manager wants his team to be ruthless, and that was such an opportunity. No wonder he's unhappy at that miss. Corner's taken. Gets in the way of it, the defender. Mark Batra. And then he went just like that's half time at 1 0. Well, the team that we don't expect goals from have got some goals, but on the other hand, they've been weak at the other end of the pitch, haven't they? Well, being such low scorers, it does put an awful lot of pressure on the defenders. The first half getting underway, it's Valencia who've kicked off. Referee blows, and we're off for the second half. The defender's done very well there to stop the cross. Well, he's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. Swung in from the corner. Well, he fancied his chance, but he had the technique to get that on target, but it didn't work out. Just wonder whether he took his eye off the ball at the last moment. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Put in from the wide area. What a goal that would have been on the volley. Yeah, the crowd were on the feet. They thought he'd done it. Well, what a good ball into the middle. Oh, he's put his head in his hands, and you can see why it's an absolute sitter. Well, when you're winning by a goal, the manager wants to see his team put the game to bed, but they couldn't do it there with that miss. Tierney, Herrera, won it back with an interception. Nacho Fernandez, set up to play on the break now. That's what we all want to see, the referee's playing advantage, he's done it well here. Good vision, played over the back of the defenders. That whipped him ball at the near post. Florenzi. Rodrigo. Trying to find an opportunity. Guedes! Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there.
Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Interception here. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Takes a nick off the player, out for a throw. We've got substitutes warming up for both sides, and both managers are going to bring on some fresh legs. Defender's done well here to clear the danger. Rodrigo. Florian Tovar. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. And 20 minutes to go. Herrera might just be in here from that little chip pass. And that'll be a corner. Here comes the corner. Not really away from the threat here. In goes the corner. That's a very good clearance, and it was needed. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. Well, here it is. Still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Yeah, the fans can sense it. The team's got a bit casual. Hopefully that will transmit to the players. Oh, chance. Fearing the equaliser at one end. They've got a score at the other end to put themselves two ahead and strengthen their position. not going to miss from there he was concentrated had his head down good connection a good look here again by the replay of the goal Starting at 2 0. Able to intercept here. Valencia controlling possession so far, and it's been a really impressive performance the way they've used the width of the pitch. They've swung some really good crosses in, the strikers have been on top of the game. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Reaching for it a little bit with the header, and that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think. Well, they're singing the praises of the players that have put these supporters in such a good frame of mind with the time ticking away. Yeah, and to their credit, they really were 
animated, loud, noisy from the very off here. It's made a difference. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. He's one possession. Put in from the wide area. Still heading for goal. Well, he did well to get to the ball first. That's the best I can say. Well, it's uh, one change. And it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. Florenzi. Guedes. Rodrigo. Superb defending by one of the most consistent players on the pitch. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. That's cut out. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. The referee's given them a free kick in a real position of some danger to the opposition. Oh, I've seen him bury these from this distance. Work by the goalkeeper who saw the free kick coming. And there we are, final whistle. Great day for them to win the game and keep the opposition out. Yeah, it was a job done, wasn't it? The opposition weren't at their best today, but you still have to beat them. Well, it has been a thrilling game, and the visiting team have scored goals this time, but they didn't get enough, did they? Well, it's difficult to see any end in sight for this team because they didn't give us much encouragement out there today.